From soaking in muscle-melting waters at centuries-old thermal baths to romantic rendezvous above the city or traveling back in time at a 19th-century coffee house, Budapest has a little something for everyone. Here's a list of some of the best experiences you can't miss on a trip to Hungary's vibrant capital. 1. Explore the castle district The Buda side's rolling hills are crowned by the former royal palace, one of the city's most emblematic landmarks. Raised and rebuilt several times through the ages, today it houses the Hungarian Natural Gallery and major temporary exhibitions. Other iconic landmarks, such as Fisherman's Bastion with an unparalleled panorama to Pest's skyline over the Danube. The Gothic Matthias Church is steps away on twisting cobblestone streets. For coffee and cake, be sure to stop by Rushworm, the longest-running confectionery in Hungary. For a quirky experience, visit the hospital in the Rock Museum, which was once a functioning hospital beneath the Royal Palace. The vintage funicular, one of the oldest funicular railways in the world, whisks you up to the palace in minutes or you can hop on bus 16, which has many stops throughout the city or just hike up, it's not as far as it seems, we promise. 2. Soak at a thermal spa Budapest sits on a patchwork of thermal springs, mineral-rich water spouts from the ground, hence the abundance of thermal spas, many dating back to Turkish times. These waters are said to be capable of curing just about anything and soaking in a thermal pool is an unmissable Budapest experience. The best of Budapest's thermal baths Budapest is the spa capital of Europe, but which thermal bath is the best? The world-famous Sishani Baths is the biggest spa complex in Europe, and while the location is certainly a tourist trap, its majestic architectural elements and outside pools still make it an unmissable place to visit. But if you prefer more peaceful plunging and stunningly colorful ceramic tiles, Gellert Baths is the right choice. Other spas dotted throughout Budapest also hold special amenities, such as a rooftop hot tub at Ruda's Baths or a private bath at Karai. 3. Take a panoramic ride on Tram 2 Frequently cited as the most panoramic tram journey in the world, Tram 2 travels all along the Danube shore between the Margaret Bridge, Jazai Mari Tur, and South Pest, chugging alongside everything you need to see in downtown. All you need is a regular public transport ticket. A boat cruise serves as a lovely alternative. If you don't want to spend money on a sightseeing boat, you can use the public boats with a regular transport ticket. 4. Visit Parliament Budapest's Neo-Gothic Parliament Building dominates the curve of the Danube and is a true postcard superstar. It houses the Holy Crown, used to crown the country's monarchs since the 12th century, as well as other royal jewels. English guided tours are available, but it's best to book ahead. Not too far from Parliament, you'll find one of the city's most moving memorials, the Shoes on the Danube. The poignant monument honors the victims of the Holocaust who were marched to the riverbank on a dark winter's day and ordered to remove their shoes before being shot and falling into the fast-flowing river beneath. 5. See the Basilica The ornate St. Stephen's Basilica is the city's biggest church, found steps away from Deke Square. The basilica hides inside the county's most revered, and eerie, religious relics, the embalmed right hand of St. Stephen, the founding king of Hungary. Climb the 193 steps, or take the lift, to the Basilica's dome for some of the best views of Budapest. 6. Stroll along Andrassy Avenue and City Park full of fancy shops, cafes and gorgeous buildings, tree-lined Andrassy Avenue is Budapest's version of the Champs-Élysées. It begins behind the Basilica and stretches all the way to Hero Square, one of the city's most famous monuments. Along the way, you'll see the Hungarian State Opera and the Harrowing House of Terror Museum, the former headquarters of the secret police, where victims of cruel regimes were once tortured. The Millennium Underground, the oldest metro in continental Europe, runs the whole length of Andrassy should you find the walk too long. Where the avenue ends, City Park begins. The Pest Side's biggest park is home to a rowboat-filled lake, which is an ice rink in winter, fairy tale Vidahanyad Castle and Sishani Baths. The wildly ornate interior of the New York Cafe in Budapest. There are marble columns, golden light fixtures and plush crimson chairs get a taste of the high life with a visit to the extravagant New York Cafe copyright Mart Chan, Shuttershock 7. Have a coffee at a historical coffee house Budapest's coffee drinking culture dates back centuries, and its classic coffee houses are a sight to behold. Many were cradles of culture and haunts for Hungary's literary greats. 
The most prominent is New York Cafe, once chosen as the most beautiful coffee house in the world, where gilded and marble surfaces, crimson colors, crystals, frescoes, chandeliers and often live Hungarian music bring back that fan de siècle finesse. Gerbo Cafe, Haddock or Central are equally great choices for a trip back in time. 8. Admire a bird's eye view with the curving Danube, beautiful bridges, stunning landmarks and a fan de siècle facade, Budapest is especially beautiful, and photogenic, from up above. If you fancy a bit of a walk, climb up to the Citadella and Budapest Statue of Liberty on Gellert Hill for a rewarding view. If you'd rather sit back with a drink and enjoy a front row seat to all of Budapest, try any of the city's many rooftop bars. 9. Spend a day on Margaret Island. Margaret Island is Budapest's biggest green oasis, accessible by foot from the middle of Yellow Margaret Bridge. The whole island is a huge park home to a medieval church ruin, a lovely Japanese garden, century-old towering trees and endless picnics. The centerpiece is a large fountain that lights up and dances to music every hour from spring to winter, the 9 p.m. show is enhanced with a multimedia screening that displays images of Hungary's greats projected onto a water curtain. 10. Ruin Pubs and Garden Clubs Budapest nightlife is world famous and a visit during the long, hot summer is not complete without an evening in one of the city's many so-called kurtek, literally, gardens, but in Budapest any outdoor spot that has been converted into an entertainment zone. These often rough and ready venues, including courtyards, rooftops and romkochmak, ruin pubs, that rise phoenix-like from abandoned buildings, can change from year to year and are seasonal, but some of the more successful ones, like Zimpla Kurt, are now permanent and open year-round. 11. Great Synagogue The largest Jewish place of worship outside New York City, the Moorish-style Great Synagogue is one of Budapest's most eye-catching buildings. Built in 1859, the distinctive structure, with its crenellated red and yellow glazed brick facade and two enormous towers, stands next to the Hungarian Jewish Museum. In the courtyard is the poignant Holocaust Tree of Life Memorial, designed by sculptor Imre Varga. 12. Memento Park. Containing statues and other memorials from the communist past, Memento Park can only be described as a cemetery of socialist mistakes, or a well-manicured trash heap of history. In southern Buda, it's home to about four dozen statues, busts and plaques of Lenin, Marx and homegrown henchmen like Bela Kuhn. Ogle the socialist realist, art, and try to imagine that some of the monstrosities were still being erected in the late 1980s and in place until the early 1990s. 13. Take a break in Buda Hills They may be short on sites, though Bela Bartok's house, where he spent his final year in Hungary, is open to visitors here, but the Buda Hills are a very welcome respite from the hot, dusty city in the warmer months. Perhaps their biggest draws are their unusual forms of transport, a narrow-gauge cog railway dating from the late 19th century will get you up into the hills, a train run by children takes you across them and a chairlift will glide you back down to terra firma.